Hey, how you doing? It's Vito here, and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. I have a tier list video for you guys. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below on what you think is the best and worst consumable in the game, and subscribe for more content. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs by the end of the year, so let's get started. Let's just get straight into it. So, I'll kind of go over the explosives real quick. So, frag bombs, I think, are rest here. Um... They can go through walls if they have enough of a gap through them, like a hole in the wall even. They can actually go through those um, with the explosion. And if that doesn't kill you, then it will still bleed you. In which case, if they hear that, well, you're bleeding, they'll probably push you, right? The enemy that pushed you. Um, there's 150 damage. Pretty, pretty good overall as far as what it can do. Um, as as a consumable and it's actually still kind of cheap i think it's like 110 for a frag it used to be cheaper it used to be around like I think it was like 70 or 80 or something like that at one point it used to be way cheaper but now it's it is it is more expensive but in my opinion uh it's still on the cheaper side for for what it can give you so frag bombs definitely going to be s tier as far as like the little dynamite stick goes, I think it's going to be B. So it's just an average grenade. That's what it is. It's just, it's just you know, like a stick of dynamite, right? Uh, dynamite bundle. I think it's going to be uh, A. Um, so the reason why this is B is because you know, average, right? This is a little bit of, a, of an above average upgrade. It, it, it has a it has a bigger radius that you can kind of work with, right? And it's cheap too, I think it's like 70 or 75, but you're working with like a bigger radius, right? So automatically it's gonna be better than the uh, the little stick of dynamite, right? The sticky grenade is just a boss weapon in my opinion. Um, I really haven't seen any player kills with this. Uh, there might be some some nutty clips out there of someone sticking somebody and killing and getting a kill with it. But for the most part, it's 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 a boss weapon, right? Or like a boss consumable. Throw this on a you know spider, butcher, scrap beak, um, and uh, they lose more than uh, more than three fourths of their health from one explosion. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's also it's also really good against like blowing down doors and stuff like that. So if you throw it like on a sliding door or something like that, but it has to be a wooden sliding door, right? It'll blow it up. So it's so it's good in that regard. Big dynamite bundle. Um, I feel like these are underutilized, but for a reason. Um, these things are very weighty, in my opinion, or, or like they feel weighty. So like whenever you throw them, they don't go as far, in my opinion. I'm kind of putting them in, in B for the time being, right? Um, they do have a humongous explosion radius, though. I think it's like... I want to say it's around like... 10 or 11. So, like, yeah, like it's good in that regards, but it's just not... It's not something that I would bring often. Plus, the expense of it is also... Like, it's pretty... It's pretty expensive. Um... It's it's good against Rachaw because you can one shot Rachaw pretty pretty easily with it, right? Um, but you have to make sure that Rachaw is not in the water and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of well, I'm gonna say like, like there's a lot of prerequisites, but like there's one prerequisite, you know, don't scare off Rachaw into the water and then you can one shot her, right? Just kind of just like light it, sit there for a minute, let it kind of cook for a minute, and then throw it and whenever it reaches her 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 body, it'll a one shot it right so it has one good utility to it which it can one shot a boss right um the the fire bombs the the little fire bomb or like the the normal one i think is a c tier it's basically just like a lantern but better so it lasts up to two minutes and it creates the fire from it the smoke from it is like a smoke grenade, right? Or it kind of has like a screen to it, like a smoke screen to it, right? So other than that, it's just good as just like an insta burn, kill someone, 
throw a fireball on them, and then the, and then the other team has to push out and choke, right? Um, liquid Firebomb, what's good about it is that uh, you don't have to worry about water, you're falling in water. Um, someone falls in water or is in a river whenever you kill them, throw this on their body, they'll still burn. That's what it provides. So in my opinion, it is a little bit better. Plus the price of this is like five bucks more. You, you, you would be stupid not to take the Liquid Firebomb over the, the regular one. Hellfire Bomb, though, uh, I think is a really good bomb. Um, it provides a lot of pressure. Um, you throw it on somebody, it automatically takes a 25 bar. Um, so let's say if they start off with a 25 bar, which most people are kind of going to start having, is, um, is a Hellfire. Um, it's good there. It's very, very good there. Um, so definitely take a, so definitely take a health firebomb if you can. Um, hive bombs, I think it's, or the B bomb is going to be in B tier, right? Um, the, it, it, they're treacherous little things. They're traitorous. So what happens is, is that, um, you throw them. You know, at an enemy, sometimes the bees will come in your direction and attack you instead of the enemy. But I see a lot of people using these bee bombs and not chase after the person um, getting hit by the bees. And you should. You very, very much should. Um, here recently, I've been seeing a lot of people not even fight the bees at all. They just get hit by it. They just get hit by it. And they will just continuously just get hit by it. But it causes poison and it causes damage. It's, it's a great pressure tool. I kind of want to put it, put it in A tier, but for the but for the time being, I think it does need to be in B tier. Um, some of these placeable consumables, right? So this would be like the ammo box, the med kit, and the and the, uh, the tool kit. Uh, probably going to be A tier for the most part for, for these placeable tools. Ammo box, pretty self-explanatory. Special or normal, you will get um, an allotted amount of ammo, depending on what ammo type you're using. Um, and I think that all these are great. They're just not being utilized because people like throwables. They don't like placeables. They like throwables. You'll see more people use the ammo box than you will anything else. But for the most part, um, you'll see people use a lot more of these throwables than, they, than you will the other uh, make kits and the tool kits, right? Um, poison bomb, I'm going to put in C tier. Um, poison bomb is okay. It, it, it definitely, like walls off a spot that you don't want the enemies to go through but people can just use a poison shot and who cares right another thing that you can do is that and i don't think it's smart i think it's kind of well it is smart but i don't think it's that useful i think it's very inconsistent but you can use this on a boss and they can take massive damage from it so um the one that it has more consistency with it is probably assassin because assassin whenever he he becomes in range or enraged stays in one spot throw a poison bomb on his feet and just let it do its work right um other than that that's that's basically it it's kind of a crappy consumable in my opinion it's really not that great um a really bad consumable though in my opinion i think it's the worst one is the chaos bomb the reason, why the, the reason why I think that the Chaos Bomb is the worst is because 9 times out of 10 when someone uses it, I can hear them using it and they throw it and then it goes off. I'm like, okay, that's Chaos Bomb, right? It's supposed to mimic a firefight, right? Um, or simulate a firefight, right? Which is supposed to be like, okay, well, they're having a fight right now. Let's go over there and, and like see what's going on type of deal, right? It's supposed to have people kind of push in to kind of engage with that firefight right but people tend to don't want or people tend to not want to engage in firefights so that's the first thing right and the second thing is is that you can use it to kind of like mask your footsteps right so you can throw it down and you know make an attempt at like a weird push or a weird angle or something like that right and use the sounds of the firefight to mask your foot you know, like master sound and stuff like that but 
it's a double-edged sword because what you're hearing right now, you know, and masking your footsteps, you're also masking, you know, like the enemy team's footsteps and like what they're doing, right? And so I, so I kind of see this as a potential backfire, right? Um, but it's, you know, like it has a very, 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 very small niche in my opinion. It's just not that great, in my opinion. It just sucks. It's it's really, really, really not that great. Um, Flash Bomb, I think, is the best consumable in the game currently. Um, you can Blair Witch into a corner of a room um, with your back turned to every corner, everything. Close your eyes. Um, and, you know, be in complete darkness. You know, you, you can be blind and get hit by this Flash Bomb and still be blinded by it. Um, it's that good. It's, it's a, it's a, oh, it is an overpowered offensive and defensive tool. It does both. It needs to be nerfed in my opinion. I think the rework that needs to be done for this is that if you have your back turned from it, if you know someone's going to be throwing it right, turn your back to it and it should not affect you for that long, if at all. Now, if it blinds you, it blinds you, Right. If it blinds you and blinds you, and I'm and I'm more than willing to say, okay, well, if it blinds blinds you, add like another second on to the um, the blind, right? Because the person, kudos to them, they were able to 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 hit you with the blind and just full blind you in the face, right? But that's not how it works currently. How it works currently is that even if I'm running away from it and it goes off behind me, I will still get blinded for the full duration of the flash. That is dumb. I don't think that it should be that way. Crytek, if you hear me out, please, please, please look at the flash bomb. Constantina bomb, I think it's probably A tier. Um, it's fantastic for walling off an area that you don't want people to go through. And if they do go through it, they'll be making a lot of noise so you know where the enemy's at. Um, and it's also very, very good that if you kill someone, you can be an asshole and throw fire and this on top of them. Yes. You know, the enemy team might throw a choke bomb on them and stop the fire. Oh well, they are still down and out for the fight completely. They have a massive array of wire on them, and they are and they are there until someone cuts down the wire. Who cares? It's doing its job. Stalker beetle, normal stalker beetle is probably going to be an A tier consumable. It's just good. It's good. It's a recon tool, it can cost 25 damage on explosion, and it can poison and bleed people, right? It's also really, really good that if a if a structure has wood to it, and, and if you know there's an enemy team camping in there, you can use a stalker beetle to, beetle to hide in the rafters of said building and ping where they are at and have your teammates see those pings and shoot at those pings. I have, we, we, we have gotten several teams that way where we use a stalker beetle to basically ping where the enemy is at and we're able to basically say okay yeah he's here and they get a headshot kill him or they do d massive damage to the guy right it's a very 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 good consumable tool the choke beetle i think is going to be b tier though um the reason why i say it's going to be b tier it does the same recon as this as the normal beetle like the little stalker beetle right the only problem is, is that the regular beetle actually does damage. It actually serves some, 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 some disruption to the team, right? And, and you get multiple people with this, right? Most people are, are running around with 25 bars right now, so this is why it's like really good, right? The choke beetle, it doesn't do any damage. It, it just creates a choke cloud whenever it explodes, right? So it's great at saving your teammates, and it's great for, like, walling off a spot. Because, again, like, if someone walks through a choke cloud, they'll just start coughing, right? Um, but other than that, that's it. I'd rather have the stalker beetle than, than the uh, the choke beetle. That's just me. But it does provide some some sort of unique, um, unique uh, role within the consumables, right? So... It's fine. Uh, let's do go over like the little poison or like the little shots, the mini shots, uh, the vitality shots. A tier heals you for seventy-five. What's not good, you know? Like what's not good about that? 
uh, tiny poison shots probably gonna be B tier. It offers it offers ten minutes worth of poison immunity, which is really good against like kill traps, poison clouds, and uh, hive swarms, um, and also poison ammo. Right. Um, other than that, it offers again it's ten minutes. The big one offers twenty minutes, and if you carry two of them, you can have effectively a whole game with have having not or not having to worry about. Um, poison. It's good. It's very, very good. Mini stams are probably going to be A tier. Um, having five minutes of stam, five minutes is a long time in Hunt Showdown, in my opinion. Um, five minutes can easily take down a boss. Um, there are two bosses that I can think of that stamina shots are almost really, really, really good against those bosses, and that's Assassin and Rotjaw. Assassin. Whenever he's enraged, you pop a stamp shot, you grab an axe, you just go to pound town, right? Rotjaw shocks you whenever you hit her within the first like half of her health, right? And it zaps your your stamina, like all your stamina away. Well, if you run a stamina shot, you won't have to worry about that, right? So that's why stamina shots are really are really good against Rotjaw, right? So you can have more hits against her to where you can get her down to that half, and then you won't have to worry about it anymore, right? Um, big vitality shots, S tier. The ability to gain to gain all your health back within a short amount of time is really good. What's more to say about that? Um, big poison sh or big poison shots, like I said before. You know, hit. You know, I think these are A tier. Um, hit two of them up. You have, you know, forty minutes worth of poison resistance, and since they knocked down the timer from, I think it was like 55 or 60 minutes a match to now 45, you have a whole match of basically poison resistance. So, or like poison immunity, excuse me. And then big stam shots are gonna be A tier. Offers you 10 minutes worth of stam, you take two of them and offers 20 minutes. So that's basically half of a match worth of stamina, unlimited stamina. So it's very, really good in that regards. Um, and like I said before, yeah, you know, any AI that you go up against, any type of boss you have a you know, like go up against, you really don't have to worry about um, stamina regeneration or stamina becoming an issue at any point. So that's my tier list as far as for consumables. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about uh, the best and the worst consumables in the game and uh see you guys later y'all be safe bye bye